Good morning. So let's see, today is Friday. So we came in on a, what was that, Wednesday? No, Tuesday. So I don't know what day it is. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I think it was day four maybe of this Alexandria Baltimore trip. So today we actually have no conference stuff today. Yes. So did some emails, caught up on some work. Um, and now we're gonna go to breakfast. I'm kind of sick of the hotel one <laughs> So we're gonna go to a place I went to when I came to DC for a training a couple years ago called Ted's Bulletin What's really cool about Ted's is they make their own pop-tarts there and they're actually really good. So We're gonna head over there and I'll bring you guys along and after that we're gonna go over to the Gallery of Art and then natural and then um, probably American history too so all those and then we have a special place for dinner tonight so kind of killing time i mean i want to see all these things but we're killing time until you know five when we can go to the toki underground which is another place i went to when i came to dc for work so good so if we like just had done the holocaust museum it's amazing um very sad very sombering i highly suggest that one um, we're not going to be doing that today so we're trying to do some new ones i have done american history before but their you know exhibits change out so much so I'm totally cool to do that one again I love like kind of the food history you know being a cook and really enjoying that um, so yeah we'll take you guys along all right let's go <laughs> Uh, could I get a Diet Coke, Pepsi, whatever you have? Yep, thank you. Here's the lunch dinner side in case you want to know. Mm, pickle. Love pickles. Okay, so I got the Ted's um, pancakes. So there is like their pop charts are crushed up in here. You get hash browns. I went with egg whites. You get your choice of eggs, and they added a side of bacon, which you get a lot of bacon. So I'm surprised by that. I'm gonna need her to come back for ketchup. So just got done at Ted's Bulletin. Always a good meal. Um, one thing I've noticed in DC area is the bathrooms tend to be kind of gross at restaurants. Hers wasn't too bad, but it smells really weird outside of there. So just something to be aware of about DC in general. So now we're gonna go over to the National Gallery. So waiting for the Uber to come get me and um, check out some art. I can see on their website that I can vlog, but I they don't want me to talk. So I will insert music and take you guys along.
So a little bit of a rant. All of the cafes say they're open till like four and none of them are. <laughs> all I want is like a pop or a water or something, but everything is closed. And I have a date coming on from Lock Cafe. So I'm a little annoyed. <laughs> All right, I feel better now. <laughs> so I went to these food truck guys that are all along here. It looks like every other one is the same one. I don't, I don't know. But um, I was able to get a pretzel with cheese, a couple of Diet Pepsi's. I'm just sitting out here, nice little area, eating and having my pop called the kids. So yeah, I feel better. Um, I was definitely an idiot this morning when I said we would do all these places. I uh, underestimated, and I've been to American history, so I should have known better, but I guess I didn't really think the art gallery would take me that long. Um, 
I did get delayed because my phone was almost dead and I was a dummy last night and didn't charge my power bar. So I had to sit there and at least get my phone up to 50% on my little couch thing. So that you know took about 20 minutes out of my plans. So yeah, I am super annoyed though that everything says they're open till 4, 4.30. The gelato bar is supposed to be 4.30. All these other places are supposed to be the 4 inside of there. And they were all closed, like not even open at all. Or one had been open, but it was closed at that point. <laughs> so that was very annoying. Um, but lots of cool things. I wish there was a little bit more modern. But um, yeah. I'll give you guys a little bit more on my feedback later. And I think, so we have a little bit of time before I have to leave for dinner. So I think we're gonna walk down to the natural. All right, we're at the natural history. We're only gonna get a few minutes here. It was good. I totally underestimated how long it was going to take me to get. Alright, I got the classic ramen. Kelly, what kind did you get? Red miso ramen. Red miso. What did you get, Sarah? Mushroom something, but it's not. Oh, it's yours is like not real brothy. Yeah. And what did you get, Dallas? Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. Alright, so I'm back into the hotel room. It's pretty early for a Friday night, 7 o'clock. 11. 
Um, so I showed you guys a little bit of the Toki Underground. Um, I didn't say a whole lot. I don't think I really introduced that that's where we were. Um, but that's where we went for dinner with Toki Underground and uh, three of my colleagues were there from across the state. So we had someone from California, someone from Arkansas, and then Sarah is with me in Michigan. So yeah, it was really good. And I'm, they all three really enjoyed it, which was great. Cause when you suggest a restaurant and you're like, oh yeah, it's good. And if they don't like it, then you're kind of, you feel like an ass. So <laughs> luckily everybody liked it. So that made me happy. Expensive Uber ride. That's not the best place to maybe go from Alexandria, so the ride coming back was kind of expensive, but it was also kind of prime time, 6 o'clock. Um, so the National Art Gallery took way more time than I anticipated, plus my phone was dying and my power bank was also dying, so I had to stop and get enough juice to make sure I had communication and was safe, so that took, I think I mentioned it earlier, it took about like 20 minutes out of my time. So. Oh well. Um, so I only got to go into the natural history for about like a half an hour. So you guys only saw just a little snippet of the natural history. I wish I would have had more time there. Um, but the art gallery was cool to see. I don't, for me, I'm not big into art. I don't know a lot of bar about art. A couple of the names, you know, sounded familiar. Um, you know, I did actually like seeing some of the old furniture. That was pretty cool to me. So that was a cool exhibit. Um, I wish the modern section was a little bigger than it is, and I was very annoyed <laughs> that they had one like food area open that I could tell. It was downstairs in like the concourse area, but by the time I got done doing my charging, and it was supposed to be open until 4.30, by the time I got done with my charging, they were closed. And I asked the girl, is there any place I can get like a pop? She's like, no, sorry. I'm like, okay. My head was pounding because I was having like caffeine withdrawal. I drink a lot of a lot of caffeine. So I only had like what I had at Ted Book Bulletin. So that was like one, you know, can of pop. <laughs> so I was hurting very much so. So a little dramatic. Sorry. Um, so I think that did take away from my experience though because I was so uncomfortable feeling. There was also a ton like the Aeros the Air and Space Museum had a humongous line to get in and a lot of the schools were going there but I think they had just reopened today so the art museum was not as bad like crowd wise but there was still a ton of kids in the DC area which I know that's a common you know school trip my son is going this year in his eighth grade year to DC like in March so yeah I get it that you know a lot of schools do do that and that's great I'm glad they do it um, but I was just surprised at how early in the school year that they're already coming so there was a ton of kids everywhere uh, but they you know nobody was like bad behaved <laughs> so um, yeah so I wish I just would have had more time at natural history but otherwise you know it was a great day minus my headache that I still have um, so I just took some ibuprofen I had an excedrin earlier um, getting pumped up with caffeine I think I do have a blister on my big toe <laughs> so tomorrow the plan is to go to the zoo so hopefully um, my feet aren't too tore up from today. I should have wore socks and I didn't. So tomorrow I'll have to do that. Um, but that is the plan for tomorrow. And then I think I have a Greek restaurant to eat at tomorrow. So definitely subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then future me will give you the resource for today's video. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. All right, the resource for today's video is the SAMHSA National Helpline. So it is a helpline, also known as the Treatment Referral Routing Service. It's confidential, free, 24-7, 365, for individuals and family members facing mental and or substance use disorders, referrals to local treatment facilities, support groups, and community-based organizations. No, December is Seasonal Affect Disorder Awareness Month, so sad. So if that is something that you experience in these long winter days, you can definitely give that a call if you could benefit from some resources. All right, thank you, bye-bye.